Hi, my name is Justin Odisho, and in this Adobe After Effects tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create this fun cutout pop art effect. So if we're starting out with our original clip in a new composition, the first thing we want to do is cut out the subject of our video. So this is going to depend on your clip. Some are going to work better than others. This is a pretty good case where we have our guy dancing here and we can get a clean cutout of him. There's not too much interrupting the frame and whatnot. So I'm going to use the rotor brush tool to do this. This is in the top toolbar. You can see this rotor brush tool. And if you double click on the layer, it'll open the layer up in its own menu. And I can see this green cursor is my brush. If I go to the brushes panel, I can increase or decrease the size. But I basically just want to start here at this first frame. If this is a good frame to start from, paint in the selection of the person or object we're working with. And then I will let go and After Effects will try to do a good job automatically selecting our person. If you do need to touch up some things, like for example, right here by his elbow, I can hold option. That'll change the brush to subtract mode. I could also decrease or increase the brush size. So I get this little small part right here where there's not supposed to be anything. I can maybe even just make sure these other edges really stay separated. Because as this guy spins around and dances, our selection is going to have to change and keep up frame by frame. So once you have your selection outlined, the next thing you can do is press this freeze button right here and it'll lock your rotor brush into place and start going frame by frame, trying to keep up with the original selection. So I'm going to let this finish going frame by frame and then we're going to pick up at the next steps next. So once After Effects has finished rose scoping your image, you can now go back to your composition window and you should see the cutout video frame by frame. You also have some options in the effect controls panel. If your cutout was not perfect, you can do things like adjust the feathering, shifting the edge in or out, reducing the contrast of the edge. So you do have a little bit of wiggle room there. But one thing I'm also going to do is add a stroke onto this image before we place it into our fun, colorful background. So I'm going to right click the layer, go to layer styles and add a stroke. This is going to allow us to add this fun outline kind of also helps blend that edge. You can make it whatever color you want really, but in the actual layer, so drop down the layer, you can drop down the layer styles and drop down the stroke menu. You could change what color the stroke is and also the size of the stroke. So for the size of my subject in the video, I'll choose white and something like 10 pixels. You can see what looks good for the size of your object. Now, you can also choose whether that's outside, inside, or center. That'll change the whether it's stroking inward, outside, or a little bit in and out at the same time. You can see what might look good for your selection. I'm going to stick to outside. And then the next thing I'm going to do is create a new solid layer. So I'll go to Layer, New, Solid. And on this layer, I want to make sure it's underneath our rotoscoped out clip. I can go to the effects and presets menu and search for a ramp. So I can use a gradient ramp. Like for example, if I did not have this gradient ramp, I can just go to layer new solid and I could just change the color of the solid when I'm making it. That's one way you could do it. So instead of a black solid, I could do a yellow solid. Or, like I was saying, you can add a gradient ramp onto your solid and then make sort of a subtly different color. So, maybe a lighter gray or a lighter yellow to a darker yellow. Just to get a little bit of variation in there if you wanted. And you can also change and move around the size of your clip. So, it could work fine just like this but I could also increase the scale of my video clip to increase the cutout person since we no longer need the background anymore kind of fill up the frame a little bit more and I can also finish this off by adding a black and white color correction effect onto our video so we kind of get this cool black and white white outline and pop of color background and since we've removed the background, it's kind of cool. They're dancing in free, colorful space almost. Another fun idea you could do is adding a layer style that is a gradient overlay or color overlay. So what if I just made this entire thing more like a silhouette in the 
color overlay section or gradient overlay, you can change it to be something else. Or you could even blend that in and lower the opacity of the color fill, but this will give you kind of a different look, even more colorful. But once you have this basic composition set up, you can get creative with the effects and different ways that you blend it. So my name is Justin Odisho. If you enjoyed this tutorial, you can check out a lot more in the playlist on my channel and subscribe to stay tuned for all of my new videos. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.